Patrick Mahomes, Chiefs quarterback, more than willing to wear the hat of responsibility for his own shortcomings. He's got an issue with turnovers. Here he is after the game talking about that. Yeah, I mean, it starts with me. I mean, I think the three of them were on me. I mean, the interceptions and then the, the fumble at the end of the game. Um, and so I have to correct that. I have to be better. Uh, it's something that I've, I've not usually done in my career, but I have to reevaluate where I'm at, uh, what decisions I'm making. Um, so uh, once we do, we do that, I think we don't, we don't kind of hurt ourselves. I think we'll find ways to score points. Um, and so, uh, I mean, turnovers are a huge deal in this league. Uh, turnover margin usually, usually decides games. Um, and so it's something we have to correct as a team if we want to we want to win these football games. You know, the challenge for Patrick Mahomes, he's a guy who became a superstar with a lightning strike and it happens fast and it's exciting and it and it and it's fun to watch. And now he's forced to be patient. That's something he told me last week after they beat the Eagles. As I've gotten older in the league, you're 26, but he's been around and he understands that you have to take what they're giving. You have to run the football. You have to take the, the, the field in chunks that are smaller than what you're used to, and that's part of this tension that that Chiefs offense is going through, the balance of of looking for that, that quick six versus being patient. And I think we saw some of that tension last night, especially when he's going toe-to-toe with Josh Allen, who's making it look as easy as Patrick Mahomes used to make it look, Mike. Well, yeah, yeah, listen, a, a couple things is he's right about the turnovers. That they, they have been detrimental since the day this, this game was invented, uh, and that will never change. Again, I'll say last year he threw 38 touchdowns and six interceptions. This year, what does he have? 16 touchdowns and six interceptions. He'll get to the same number of touchdown passes, probably more. But the next interception is the mo- more than he had last year. And it's leaning toward, I, I, I highly doubt, or I wouldn't expect he's going to go the rest of the way without throwing an interception. The fumbles. And again, with teams scoring more now, I used to bring up the fact that the greatest show on turf with Kurt Warner, they t- had turnovers every now and then, but they didn't care so much because they were scoring so much more than, than anybody else. Well, other teams are scoring now as much or more as Kansas City right now, so they can't afford them as much. And, oh, by the way, your defense is bad right now. Your defense is just flat out bad right now in giving up yards, blowing coverages. Again, something that you can correct, uh, but they are just a not a very good defense right now. So when you're hoping for that stop or two, you're getting it on the Bills side. You're not getting it on the Chiefs side. And uh, we are seeing the Bills have balance offensively and defensively. We're seeing them score a lot of points and not give up relatively the same number and we look at i still don't know how they lost to the steelers week one it becomes more and more glaring as we move forward but 35 nothing 43 21 that was a 22 point margin over washington 40 nothing over houston and now 38 20 an 18 point margin they are the only dominant team right now in the nfl i thought the chiefs would find a way to win it last night at home but the bills dominant again and when you peek ahead on their schedule plenty more opportunities to continue yep. to be dominant. They're 4-1. and one, The Chargers are 4-1. and one, But it sure feels like the Bills are the class of the AFC. And I only wish they played the Chargers at some point in the regular season. Yeah. We may get a matchup in January. Yeah, yeah, well, with, without question. I mean, w- and we're obviously going to get to that game with the, with the Chargers and, and what they did and the amount of points that they can score. Absolutely amazing what they do. They're, like I said, there's a few teams in the AFC like that. So, you know, I, and, and I guess – if you're a fan of, of the Chiefs or of, you know, you're not as happy because you were dominant, but if you're a fan of football, you know, it, like me that doesn't have a favorite team out there, I love seeing more teams involved and more teams with a chance, and that's exactly what we're getting in the AFC. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, the Bills, uh, I think, are potentially going to run away with the one seed and the bye that goes along with it, and then the road – to L.A. may go through Buffalo, Cold. which will be not an easy place to play in January. And I think it was – I think I remember seeing the the image of the scoreboard the first time they went to the Super Bowl, 51-3 to over the Raiders, something obscene like that in, in January uh, when, they, when they started that first run of four straight Super Bowl appearances, which I still think folks should really appreciate the fact that the Bills were able to load Mike, it up Mike, and uh, go back Mike. every single year. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.